come back. Are your kids interested in law enforcement? Do they talk about becoming a police officer one day? If so, and even if not, the summer camps hosted by the Indiana State Police could be a great experience for all kids. Sergeant Seth Toomey is the Youth Camp Program Director for the Indiana State Police, and Senior Trooper John Clausen is the SHIELD Project Director, and we're going to find out all about those, but I understand these camps started, I don't think I realized that they had been around since the 70s, and yeah. so many kids have attended. What do you want people to know so far about, you know, maybe how things have changed and what you want them to know now? Well, the, the, the camps have really progressed over the years. We do a lot more um, with, you know, high-tech equipment that we have. Mm -hmm. We bring it in, we show it to them, such as the helicopters, and uh, the, the SWAT team brings in their Bearcat and shows them all the neat toys yeah. that they have to work with. So nine different camps. I don't know which one of you wants to talk more about these, but how does that work? They're all over the state. State. They're staffed by, I'm assuming, yeah, a lot we'll of have, different people? Yeah, we'll have about 10 to 20 troopers wow. on staff, and then we'll have troops coming from all across the state to, to show their specialties, whether it's scuba, uh, detective. They'll show, you know, all the kinds of stuff that they do on a day-to-day -day basis. Okay, I want to talk about this SHIELD project. That's mm -hmm. for kids who are 18 and older. What is this specifically, and what do they do? Yeah, so the SHIELD project is something that Sergeant Toomey and I put together last year. We ran our first class last June, um, thought it was a great success. As you mentioned, it is for adults 18 and above. The way we structured it, we tried to mirror our state police academy as much mm -hmm. as we could within that time frame. Okay. Uh, we're very hands-on with our training. Uh, we show a lot of the neat opportunities that our career and our agency offers. We also, within the project, incorporate a ride-along portion. So our attendees will actually get into the vehicles with some of our district troopers as well as our staff and go out and see what uh, police officers kind of deal with on a daily basis throughout that time frame of their ride-along portion. And then finally, we were able last year to bring in a guest speaker from a company called Team Never Quit. Okay. Uh, if you're not familiar with Team Never Quit, I highly recommend you look them up. Fantastic people. Speaker we brought in last year did a fantastic job and really impacted our attendees as well as uh, I believe all the staff and people that were in attendance with him to see him speak. And we're happy to say that we're working with Team Never Quit again this year to try to get one of their fantastic speakers to come okay, great. for our graduation. What are the costs for the camp? Do you, um, so, yeah. So the camps run, um, the law camps are 150 and then uh, the career camps are 250. And, and and we can work with you on that mm -hmm. if, if if it's a money issue um, we we tend to give sponsorships and stuff like that so just get a hold of us um, and we can work with you. You look at everything that you do there again the certified instructors doing that you have ride alongs you guys mentioned that the training test prep mentoring and interviewing skills right now too I wanted to ask you if people are wanting to maybe become a state trooper are you guys still hiring do you know we are always hiring we're hiring Absolutely. across the state we need troops so. yeah. I did not know. I mean, I wore these colors today by accident, <laughs> so it worked out just perfectly. Perfect, yeah. um, we appreciate your service to us and putting your lives on the line. Um, Thank you. We really respect yep. law enforcement, so Thank we you. appreciate you. Thank you for a closer us. look at ISP's summer camps and these programs, so many all around the state. Fox59.com slash links. And again, for kids, Jim, but in those others for 18 and older, so adults as well.